Hello, my name is Erica, and I'm the children's librarian at the Belfast Free Library. I want to welcome you to today's yoga story time. This is my friend Wizzy, who's going to join us for story time today. Let's start with a welcome song. This is our yoga welcome song. Sing along if you know it. It goes like this. Hello out there, this is the yoga way to greet our friends today. Namaste. One more time. Hello out there, this is the yoga way to greet our friends today. Namaste. Welcome. Well, today I thought I would share a story with you that's called Stretchy McHandsome. It's by Judy Schaffner. First, I want to take a look at some yoga children cards, yoga pose cards. These are from a set. Hey, Lizzy. It's called Yoga Children by Lisa Flynn. So let's take a look at some of these together and then we'll get started on our story. Here's table. Happy cat and scared cat. Sometimes we call them cat and cow. This one is down dog. That one we've seen, we've seen lots of times, right? And the next one is eagle. We will be doing some other poses that aren't included here that we didn't have cards for, but this is just a nice way to show you some kids doing a few of the poses that we'll do today. Bridge pose. I've seen that one before too. Boat pose. And you'll see there are a couple of different ways to do it. And tree pose. You remember that, right? So this gives you a few different options for tree pose. So we'll do those and a few more yoga poses and a few more that are made up poses, made up by our friend here, Stretchy McHandsome. So let's read his story. Stretchy McHandsome by Judy Schaffner. The McHandsome clan was lively and large. They lived in a box with no one in charge. There was Fergus, McDougal, Binnie, and Roy, Rue, Janie, Callie, and Joy. And then there was Stretchy, the Butterstotch boy. He's got some friends here, huh? Snail, caterpillar. Now Stretchy was different in more ways than one. He was stretchy and handsome, a soft bundle of fun. These are some of the poses that we're gonna try out. Let's take a look at some of these poses that he's doing. So we have this one, which he's calling the what? I think that would be a nice one to do with bridge pose. And this one, see how long he is? It's called the snaky. So I think cobra would be a nice one for that one. And we didn't have a card for cobra pose, but I think you might remember it from other yoga story times. Then we have the tube sock. We don't have a yoga pose that matches the tube sock, but I thought it would be fun to just do the tube sock, right? We'll do just what he's doing there. And then there's the do dat. That looks like dolphin pose to me. And finally, the Mr. Twister. So for that one, we'll do eagle pose. Let's get started 
on in tabletop position, since Stretchy is a cat, we'll start with some cat-cow poses or um, happy cat, scaredy cat, right? So start on all fours and we'll arch your back, lift your head, and then bend your back the other direction and lower your head down. So we have happy cat and scaredy cat. One more happy cat and scary cat. Stretch your spine. Now come on down and we will keep our knees bent. Lay back on your mat and we're going to do bridge pose. So keep your knees even. Try to keep them straight in line with your hips and then lift your hips up. You can put your arms leave them right down here by your sides or if you want to. You can put them above your head. Stretch that way. Now from here, let's lower on down. Straighten your legs. We're going to spin our bodies around and do the tube sock pose. <laughs> so roll right on over onto your belly. Put your arms right down by your sides. And do you remember his feet were kind of splayed out this way? So try that. That's a nice stretch for your legs. And then from here, put your feet back straight and your hands by, the, by your sides or by your shoulders, your elbows by your sides, and then just gently lift up. This is cobra pose. So right on up into cobra. From here, we'll curl our toes under and press right on up into downward facing dog. Pedal your feet a little bit, stretch your legs. Take a nice deep breath here. And then we'll bend our elbows and come right on down into dolphin pose. And more nice deep breath here. And then let's straighten our arms again into downward facing dog. Stay here for just a second and then we'll walk our feet forward to meet our hands and slowly stand up. Now let's try Eagle Pose. So, start with your left arm. Put your right arm crossed over the top. Bend that left elbow. Bend the right elbow. And try to crisscross your hands too. It's a little complicated, but maybe you can see what my arms are doing. And then, take your right leg, cross it right over. Keep your toes on the floor for balance. <clears throat> and then bend your knees and try to focus on a spot on the floor so that you can keep your balance. And then to come out of this pose, stand up first. Uncross your legs, uncross your arms, and reach out to the sides. Give those arms a big stretch. And then let's put right arm out, left arm over. And we'll wrap our arms and then cross left foot, right foot over left foot. Bend your knees. You don't get everything exactly right, it's okay. Just try to focus and balance. And then come on out, straighten your legs, uncross, uncross your arms, reach your arms up nice and high. And then hands together and down at your heart. And then let's see what happens next in the story. He was a Tom of the Tumble Club, Lord of the Fleas, Cuckoo on Catnip, a Hugger of Trees. One eye was blue and the other was green, and around his dear neck hung a stinky sardine. See that stinky sardine, little fish? But it wasn't always easy to be the baby of the brood, of rough, tough, feral puffs, cantankerous, and rude. There were many disagreements over food and where to sleep, and Stretchy always landed at the bottom of the heap. 
So was it any wonder that Stretchy hatched a plan to take a small vacation from the wild McHansom clan? His brothers and his sisters all agreed that he should go and gave him a good licking from his head down to his toes. And after a tasty breakfast of fishy bones and rocks, our butterscotch boy sprang out of the family box. There he goes, spring. The first thing he did, which to some could be frightening, was dash down the street like butterscotch lightning. He jumped into a fountain, splashed round and round, scratched 200 stretchy marks all over the town. So let's stand up for just a minute. Do a little moving. Remember, he sprung from the box and then he swam in the fountain. And then he stretched a big cat stretch. And try again. Let's bend your knees, spring from the box, swim in the fountain, and then do a big cat stretch. Stretch your claws along the trees. And then let's see what's next. The freewheeling kitty made a stop at the zoo for an ear-splitting roar from a cousin or two. But the tigers thought Stretchy smelled just like dessert. So the butterscotch boy hid under a skirt. Having a little snack. Until that is, he spotted a mouse, which he chased down a path and into a house, where a hungry old woman, most pleased with her guest, attempted to eat the sardine on his chest. <laughs> he doesn't look happy about that, does he? Stretchy escaped with his tail all akimbo to soak up the sun in an old bookstore window. On the sidewalk outside, all squeezed in betweeny, stood a lass named McBright, a real sweet human being. She had unusual looks, wore the ears of a kitten, and around her wee neck hung a wild woolly mitten. Let's see, she has the same eyes as Stretchy. When Beanie saw Stretchy, it was love at first sight. She raced into the store and squeezed the cat tight. She ruffled his whiskers and butterscotch fur. He replied with a nip and a lick and a purr. In a matter of minutes, the pair were both smitten. They had traded two things, his sardine for her mitten. You see that? She's gonna wear it as a hat. And then what came next was utterly fetching. Without breathing a word, they both began stretching. Here they are, a bunch of different poses. This looks like a low boat pose. And this one is another bridge. This one, it looks like they are in tabletop and they're lifting one leg and then the other. This one, they're just reaching for the sky, I think. And this one, do you remember tree pose? So let's try those out. We'll start with the low boat pose. So you have a few different options here. For boat pose, sometimes it's you keep your knees up like this, and your arms up, bounce that way. They look like they're doing a low boat pose, so everything's a little closer to the ground. 
that's harder, isn't it? <laughs> so you can do that if you want to. Or you can just flex your feet towards your face and then pull your arms and your head towards your toes as if they're reaching toward each other, but they don't have to come too far off the ground. Now from here, we'll do another bridge pose. So I'm gonna spin around so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing, but you can stay right where you were. So remember bridge pose, try to keep your hips and your knees in line with each other and just lift up your hips. Your hands can be right by your sides here or over your head like this. From bridge pose, let's come back around to tabletop. So onto your hands and knees and remember, we'll get nice and steady here and then we'll lift one leg and then the other leg. Let's do that one more time. One leg up, flex your foot, and then point your toes, and then put that one down, that other leg up, flex your foot, and then point your toes, and then down it goes. And then come on up into down dog for just a minute. Take a breath, walk your feet and your hands to meet each other, and slowly come on up, and let's do our tree pose. So remember, there are different options with tree pose. You can balance your weight on one foot and just rest your toes on the floor and rest your heel right here on your shin so that you're right on the floor. Raise your arms up and there you go. You are a tree. If you're really feeling like your balance is good today, go ahead and lift your foot up, put it against your thigh, not your knee, and then Raise up your arms. Focus on one spot so you can keep your balance. And then bring your arms on down. We'll do the other side. So again, let's we'll start with our, our, low, our low branch tree. It's a perfectly lovely tree. You can leave it right there. Or rest your foot against your thigh and raise your arms on up. And you might wiggle and wobble a little bit. <laughs> and then bring your arms on down. And then let's have a seat. And we'll finish the story. At the very same time, back at the box, McDougal found Stretchy's collection of rocks. It made them all wonder where Stretchy was at, because it's scary out there for a wandering cat. Then every McHandsome handsomely hissed as they all set off in search of the brother they missed. There we go. Fergus found a tiny poop. Callie met the cousins. Binnie spied a stretchy mark. Rue discovered dozens. McDougal met a tired mouse. Jamie made a wish when Roy and Joy picked up the scent of a very stinky fish. It's that sardine, see? A tiny bit later, a girl and a cat were riding a seesaw and having a chat. While two streets away, eight noses were seen, sniffing the air for a stinky sardine. By late afternoon, the girl and her kitten had fallen asleep with a fish and a mitten. When they woke up from taking their nap, Beanie McBright, had nine cats on her lap. There was Fergus McDougal, Binnie and Roy, Rue, Jamie, Callie, and Joy. And don't forget Stretchy, the butterscotch boy. It's making hat. Now, the McHandsome clan was still lively and large. When they all took a vote, to put Beanie in charge. 
So the brothers and sisters did something quite hard. They lugged their old box into Beanie's backyard. Now here's the kicker. So don't flip your lids because Beanie McBright was just one of nine kids. There was Jordy, Tiny, Coco and Earl, Quentin, Finny, Pickles and Pearl. And don't forget Beanie, Stretchy's wild woolly girl. Just the same number of cats as kids. They're gonna have a lot of fun together. Big happy family. So let's go through all of our poses that we did with this story today. So start with our cat and cow pose or happy cat, scary cat. So arch your back down, lift your head up and then bend your spine the other way, curl your head right under. One more time, arch your spine and then the other way. Then we'll spin on around to our bridge pose. Lift your hips on up. Keep your knees and your hips even so you don't hurt your knees. And your arms can go above your head or right by your sides. Then we'll straighten our legs. You ready? Roll on over into your tube sock pose. Arms by your sides and spread out your feet. Then we'll put our hands right by our shoulders, elbows right by your sides, and lift on up into a gentle cobra pose. And curl your toes under, ready? Lift on up into downward facing dog. Then we'll come on down to our elbows for dolphin pose, or you can just stay in down dog. Take a nice deep breath, and if you're in dolphin, come on back up to down dog. Take a nice deep breath here, and then walk your feet and your hands together. Hang for a second in ragdoll pose, and then slowly roll up. We'll do our eagle pose. So, left arm out, right arm on top, and then we'll put our hands together. And then we have left leg over <laughs> right. <laughs> it's hard to remember everything. And uncross your legs, make your arms a big loop. And then right arm out, left arm over, twist around. Let's see if you can get your hands like that with each other. And then we'll do right leg over left. Bend your knees. Come on up. Come on out of your Mr. Twister. Give those arms a big swing around. Come on down to the end of your mat. And we'll go spring and swim and stretch. One more time, spring and swim and stretch. And then let's run our claws, make some marks in the trees. <laughs> Come on down to boat pose. So you can just lay right on your back. Pull your toes toward your head and your head toward your toes. You can lift up if you feel like it. Or you can come all the way up into a boat pose. Whatever feels best to you. Boat pose. And then you can stay facing the direction you are. I'm just going to turn so you can see me more easily for bridge pose. Back to here. Lift on up. Arms by your sides or above your head. Okay.
crazy. Oh, that's a good stretch. Now let's go into tabletop pose. And then we'll lift one leg. Flex your foot, point your toes, and down, and then lift the other leg. Flex your foot, point your toes, and down. And we'll come on up into down dog one more time. Kind of like what Wizzy was just doing. Walk your feet and your hands together. Roll on up. And I'll do one more tree pose. So, the low tree or the tall tree. Whichever feels good to you today. And the other side. The low tree or the tall tree. Whichever works for your body today. And then let's reach up. And then let's come on down, have a seat. We're gonna do a little meditation. You can lay down on your back. Maybe pull your knees up if that feels good. Give your knees a hug and a roll on your mat or on the floor. And then let's come all the way down. Hey, Lucy. Think about... Oh, hi. <laughs> Think about how cats look when they're having a nap. Or dogs. They're so peaceful, right? They just curl right up, close their eyes. Close your eyes. And imagine that you are a cat or a dog taking a nice nap, having dog dreams or cat dreams. What are you dreaming about? What do you think they're dreaming about? Are you chasing something? Are you eating something good? Are you rolling in something smelly? Just close your eyes and think about what you would do. What you would be dreaming about doing if you were a cat or a dog. Just take a minute to breathe and imagine that. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Think about the fun things you just imagined yourself doing. And if you have a cat or a dog, make sure to give them a nice scratch. Let's sing our goodbye song, and that'll be the end of our yoga story time for today. Sounds a lot like the hello song, so sing along if you know it. Goodbye for now, the time has come today to end our yoga play. Namaste. Goodbye for now, the time has come today to end our yoga play. Namaste. Thank you for joining us today. I hope we'll see you next time. Goodbye.